Um, in my breast, I had a nodule. It was gone. So you, you made a nodule and your breast disappear? Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, that's so you you have had a related disease to uh, to uh, Darren. Also, Darren, I wanted to mention. Speaking of nodules, that <laughs> Keely Keely cured a liver disease. That I remember. Her, I was there. Yeah, when she she had nodules in her liver, and yeah. and she did Immunix for like about six weeks or ten weeks or so. And then she got a liver biopsy and they were gone. Yeah, I remember. That was so cool. And I have a movie of her talking about that. It's one of our most popular movies, actually, on the YouTube. So, Darren, you, you've, been, you've been battling breast cancer for how many years? Um... Uh... About 10. Okay, around 10 years. And uh, so Maribel, just so you know that this is a, uh, Darren is a Barb's friend who has been uh, battling breast cancer for a long time. And uh, you've had your ups and downs, yeah? Yeah. I've had times where I was pretty much tumor free and uh, most recently had a big surgery because it had gotten in my spine. Right. And um, I've been in and out of pain since then. That was about seven months ago. Hey, now, Barb. <laughs> now I want the, I want Al and Barb and Maribel to tell Darren why she needs the cure team. Very important you to have the energy and the, the like the catalyst, like the, the catalyst that other people can uh, provide for you in your uh, right, create your cure. I think it's really important that you have uh, that your son has, you know, people that he sees curing things, so he remembers that that can happen. That you remember that it can happen, and that there's people who are. Um, just kind of like don't give up in your life. People that believe it can be done that are doing it every day. And then you have fresh results to see. And yeah, and people who do it themselves and know that it can be done. Sounds yeah, good. Well, it's important to surround yourself with people that are curing and of higher dimension, you know, higher dimensional people that are working on themselves because it speeds your cure and it raises your dimension. You, well, you end up being part of a group immune system. Well, Al, t tell her what, you, I, what you've cured. What I've cured? Yeah. Well, I used to weigh, well, I used to weigh 385 pounds. I now weigh about 235. Um, from that, I got congestive heart failure, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, arthritis, then I fell down a flight of stairs, ruptured both knees and three vertebrae in my back. So I deal, deal with constant pain, but I'm on no medications. I use herbal remedies only. I don't take any painkillers. I either manage my pain with Immunix or with natural substances like magnesium. Every so often I'll take a Tylenol or an ibuprofen or something, but usually I don't need that. And of course I've lost the weight. My blood pressure is, my last checks, as of last Friday, my blood pressure was normal, my blood sugar was normal. You know? You cured... And I had some mobility deficits, but... You cured diabetes, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I get no, normal blood tests, and my blood sugar every morning is within the normal range, my so, fasting blood sugar. So basically, you got a negative medical test on diabetes. Yes, and on high blood pressure, which I've had since I was 16. Since you were 16. Mm -hmm. So you altered a lifelong pattern of high blood pressure. Yeah, and the high blood pressure <laughs> led to the diabetes and other things. Right. Well, what about you, you know, Barbara? When I was in the hospital for my fall fire, uh -huh. they said my, my liver had failed. Really? And they were going to 
they were going to put me on dialysis, and, and they said they were going to give me a day or two to see if I, you know, if, it, if I, if it came back on its own. So I just immediately started working on it. Right. And then the following day, they did a test, and it was fine. Wow. Uh, so you worked on it with the Munix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barb, what about you? What have you cured? Uh, I've cu I mostly cured, uh, I'm really good at curing viral based diseases and, and cancers, I believe, but I uh, kind of am pretty good at uh, removing my own cancer and the cancers of others. I've cured clinically Epstein Barr, uh, chronic fatigue virus, related virus, I've herpes simplex, for it just a V1. No longer appears on my blood test. I also have a titanium in my spine too. During I think you knew that, right? And uh, yeah, I have twelve vertebrae fused with Harrington rods. It's called. So I have, you know, only probably three or four or five or six vertebrae that move at all. The rest are. Didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah. That's, no. Yeah, that happened when I was seventeen, and I wore a back brace for four years. Yeah. And that, you know, I sort of managed the pain and the situation to the zinc uh, related to that, for the most part, using this. But what I learned doing that, and that's actually how I started, was I was working on my back. And then I started learning that when I, the place that I took myself to relieve the pain was the same place from which I could kill viruses and remove cancers and that kind of thing. So it was kind of like a, a dimension I learned to keep myself on, like a, a vibration state. Based, uh, practice. Then I started teaching other people, so I've cured a lot of things myself and you know, other people. I love, I'm, I'm interested in cancers for some reason because they actually seem easier to me than some things like diabetes sometimes. People, because they're very tangible. Diabetes often has seems more complicated, and the person has to really you know, it has not in his head because I think he realizes it's very. It has a lot of different factors and there's all sorts of things. Whereas cancer seems very precise. You just zero in on it. You, yeah, you kill your cancer cell. Yeah, you, you keep it out. You keep it out. You keep replicating yourself. Yeah, no, diabetes, you have to do a ton of different things all the, all the time. Yeah. So that's now, why I'm kind of confident. Now, now I'm, I'm filming this, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. And just so people know about you and Barb, Darren, you know, you guys go back a long way, and there was a time when Barb helped you beat back your cancer, yes? Yeah. Long that ago. Yeah, and that's what we want to do again, except now not just with one friend, but with a whole team of people. We want to actually, what we want, well, you know, our ambitious goal is to completely get cancer out of you so that you go past the, the, the negative medical test and you simply never test positive for it again. <sighs> that sounds great. <laughs> Now, I wanted to ask Maribel, what, what have you cured? And you can talk about helping other people, too, if you want. Because you help, Maribel helps other people a lot. Yeah, um, but I have, uh, doing this without knowing in Munich uh, a little while, um, a little while ago. Um, what I've been doing is getting to with my uh, with my inner self then to test what I should take to cure what I'm, I'm having then the body or the, the one that it answers that could be you, you can call whoever your God your higher self, uh, your inner self, whatever you want to call it. The answer is uh, given to me to take the proper um, steps or medications or whatever step that I should take to cure what I'm having. And it has function. And also, see, I, I don't know if you've actually had very many uh, things wrong with you, but, but Maribel, Maribel does preventative medicine, like she gives herself uh, IVs and so on. Yeah, I do some, some kind of... Mm -hmm. How long have you been practicing preventative medicine for, with, your, with yourself? 
doing your own like pre pre prevention of taking supplements and uh for for a little while uh well what's a little while months years years yes i had uh, a cyst in the kidney and with the manual muscle testing and the proper medication, it was gone. Then in my breast, I had a nodule. It was gone. So you you made a nodule and your breast disappear. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, that's so you you have had a related disease to uh, to uh, Darren. Also, Darren, I wanted to mention. Speaking of nodules that Keely, Keely cured a liver disease. That I remember, when, I was there. Yeah, when she, she had nodules in her liver. And, yeah. and she did Immunix for like about six weeks or 10 weeks or so. And then she got a liver biopsy and they were gone. Yeah, I remember, that was so cool. And I have a movie of her talking about that. It's one of our most popular movies actually on the YouTube. So. And can I just share a strategy tip about talking about the cures? Sure. Like, don't be, like, just talk about them and be proud of them. You don't have to boast, but don't be reticent about it because when you talk about your cures, you're actually reinforcing them. It's an immunic action. Right. It's like a prayer in a prayer meeting. That's true. So always talk positively and powerfully about your cures because that's what reinforces them, keeps them in. Right. That's when you true. doubt your cures, you're actually asking for whatever it is you're curing to come back. But thank you, Al. Very, very well said. <laughs> very well yeah, you're said. You're so cute. You should write a primer. Al. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm working on a political primer. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're, we're, Al is the only conservative. Afri no, aphorisms. Al's aphorisms. That's not true. That's not true. Jesus is conservative too. Oh wait a minute! We're starting to get this little flock uh -oh. of cons political conservatives in the uh -oh. on the cure team. Oh no! <laughs> Take over. We're gonna make you all compassionate conservatives. <laughs> right, right. I do that camera angle. It's a sign of something. So, so, can I say something, did, Darren? Do you remember the time we were at um, Sarah right. Evans's? I'm moving place. it to my right side now. It's on the right. Okay, that's good. Go ahead, but go back to Barb. But what we oh, I don't know. Maybe this is off the subject, but I just wanted to like remind you, Darren, because you know you were in the throes of something then too. But this was, I guess, actually over. I thought it was more like 2003, but um, you and I, and there were actually about a dozen people there um, that were in, and not including the people on the phone, like Byron and uh, there were I think Keely and Greg and. A couple other people were there too from around the country in, the, in Canada, and we did some sort of what we're doing. We have, have done a little bit with you now. We we tested and, and got you a signal, and everybody in the room did it with you. In fact, about eight of those people are now my Facebook friends. <laughs> they, they remember it pretty well. And, um, they would probably come on Monday night and work with you again. Um, but we tested through your 12 bodies. We found where cancer was. You, re you tested removed. In fact, we recorded this. It's on the internet still. And you tested that it was gone. You removed it. I remember the best part for me, or the one that the thing that I felt was I felt because I was testing with you. And at one point, you said, "I'm getting really hot." And it was really funny because when you came in, you were like really freezing cold. You were always cold during that period. And so, um, and then from my recollection, and I, 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 you tested it was gone, and I sort of, like I said the other night, thought it was gone too, or tested it was gone. And didn't think, I you know, I sort of moved to the next person. That's the way I thought. Or I didn't, I didn't really think much until I heard you were sick again. But um, and I um, just sort of wanted to remind you that you did do that. I mean, you you know how to do it. You did it once, and um, kind of that's what we want to kind of reactivate yourself, like your reconnect that ability, and like let us help you again. Let people you know do it with you. So. All you gotta do is like hang out to that thread of a connection that you had once we still haven't yet. God or whatever, we'll do with the rest. All right, good. Well, didn't didn't you say t you told me this morning that you had been 
um, clearing some things and you were feel you were feeling a difference yeah I've been since we talked yesterday or the day before I can't remember. day before yesterday um, you know whenever I think about it probably three or four times a day I've been clearing things but I can't remember all the different levels and all the different things so I was kind of making some up but it, <laughs> it kind of took the edge off anyway um, and just I just felt like the energy of the cancer had calmed down so, so. well we, we want to show you how to go we want to show you how to go deeper right yeah and uh, uh, so, so we want to we want to this is going to be like work you know um, okay. and something you have to do every day um, now Barb the other night uh -huh. when, when we talked to Darren and I left you with her to and I t remember I told you to talk to her after the meeting yeah you want me to call her back and double check that she knew how to be your friend on Facebook well right I and I'll tell you what I want you to do see I want you to do tonight the same thing I actually wanted you to do this the other night and these are the things that you're supposed to remember and think about all of us are supposed to be, do this with people and we're, what, we're, you, what I want you to do is show her how to share movies on Facebook and how to watch them on how to watch movies that are on Facebook and find the other uh, like Darren you know I put a little page I put a little picture on your uh, Facebook page and on the picture, it's tagged with a whole bunch of people's names, including yours. And there are instructions on it. And what you do is if you put your cursor over a person's name, you'll find the name is a link, like Reggie Roland is a link. And so you're supposed to click on those pictures, I mean those links, and friend all those people so that they're all your Facebook friends, okay? Okay. So the, these are the other members of the Cure team. See, so now you're going to have all of these Cure. Like one of them is Mirabelle right here. Is she's she's on that list. So all you have to do is just put your cursor on that, and you'll have Mirabelle as your Facebook friend, and Al is another one. And he will be your Facebook friend when you click on that on that link. And and Barb, I want you to also after right after we get off the phone now. Uh, shortly, I want you to t talk. You know, you know, you could share your screen with um, Darren. I don't think I know how to do that. Uh, there's a little it's thing right at the bottom of your face. It's right at the bottom of your Skype window. Yeah. Yeah. Right next to my video, it says share. Two interlocking boxes. Share. Yeah, it's a little thing right down here. Right I see. I see. I see it. Yeah. It says. Oh, it's not. I see it. It's not on right now. Yeah, it's okay. not on right now, but it's the thing that's turned off. But so was, she could then she could see what was on my computer screen. Exactly. Oh, cool. So right. then and better is that she, yeah, or she could share her screen with yours, and you could guide her through. So doing. Yeah. So show show Darren the hub, and okay. where the lists are that she's supposed to print out, and also show her the opening movie that she should watch, the first movie, and that's actually what you should be doing, like. For your homework tonight, Darren, is watch the fir the beginning movie. Yeah, the introductory okay. movie. And th and then while you're watching it, it will give you instructions, and the instructions are about how to clear yourself. So you'll start following those instructions, and uh, you know we could do clearing on these calls too. But right now, I think the thing for us to do is just to set you off in the right <laughs> direction. And then you go, you know. Well, yeah. Try, let's try not to do everything in one call. It's better to yeah. <laughs> be, like you're eating an elephant, take little bites. <laughs> so, I, I love what your son is doing because he's an important <laughs> part of your immune system. Yeah. Yeah. He will actually help heal you. Yeah. Yeah, he's there for you. <laughs> you have a friend there, there who's there for you. I mean, I used to do the same thing with my mother. My mother's been sick since I was six. Wow. I really felt I made a big difference for her when I used to do with, with her what your son is doing with you. Aww. I really love Thank you for saying that. He just said I need to give him a raise. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know she needs a hug. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know, adding zero to zero is still zero. <laughs> uh, hey! Hey. Oh, <laughs> what you making these days? Well, Maribel, do you have anything to, that you want to say to Darren before? I'm, I know you'll be talking with her again, but do you want to say anything to her now yes. before we get before we get off? Yes, yes, yes. I want to say something. Um, I want to tell her, uh, Darren, right? Is her name Darren? Yes. You're listening to me, okay. Uh, my English is not so good as yours, you know. Oh, but I, be, I think I, I can uh, transmit what I want to say. Uh, in Munich, it's gonna help you to know yourself better. It's gonna help you uh, to, to go wherever you want to go to reach whatever goals you want to reach, in whatever area, in all life, um, um, how you say, uh, of the life. In all areas of life. All areas of life, yes. Yeah. Uh, go into Munich, practice, because if you don't, you you don't practice every day. You don't going to to get the goals that you want to reach. So don't go away. Just keep going like a light in the road. You know, it's a light in the road, and follow the light. Don't Yay. don't deviate. Don't deviate. You're gonna get whatever you want. Wow. That, that's what I, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maribel's very right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maribel's in Hialeah, Florida. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I not getting her video, or is she not on? Yeah, she froze up a second there. She, yeah, it depends. On, it probably depends on the speed of her connection. Yeah, she, she was saying such high vibrational stuff the camera couldn't keep up. <laughs> and this this girl is four. She's four and a half years old. She's four and a half years old. She knows where all the organs are and the glands. She knows the names. She knows how to test uh, all the people to test her self. Wow. Herself. And before eating something, she has to test it because once she starts going to school, we are no, we will not be there to see how much she's going to eat, you know. Uh -huh. Very risky for her because she's very allergic, and then she has to. So she has a lot of allergies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. She has to test everything that she's gonna eat. I have been teaching her uh, since some time ago. And she's four and a half, and she's testing these things when you're not with her. Yeah, she knows how to test everything. <laughs> And that is our movie. Now, I just want to say that if you want to speak to somebody, I would be available, possibly. And also, um, my outgoing message on my phone does give instructions about how to start if you haven't started yet. So, or you can just, you know, leave me a message and I'll get back to you. So, please feel free to call me. I'd be happy to speak to you. And here's my number. It's 813-672-3419. And I hope you enjoyed this movie. And it's fine to call me up and just tell me uh, how you felt about it.